Hey everybody, welcome to the real United States and welcome to Coney Island. We're here on the very southern edge of the borough of Brooklyn in New York City on what is the neighborhood of Coney Island. Now a little explanation for those of you who aren't from this area or perhaps watching from overseas. Coney Island is not an island. Now it was, it was one of the outer barrier islands about 200, 250 years ago. But over the years, they've used fill to fill in the area between the mainland and the island. And it is now just an extension of the mainland and the southernmost edge of essentially a peninsula that stretches down on the south of New York. It's right next to Brighton Beach, which we won't get to this trip, but eventually we'll get to, which is, Brighton Beach is Little Russia. It's an area of a large Russian immigration, a lot of culture from the, from the Russian area there. We'll get to that in a future episode, but that's just to the east of us. Now, Coney Island is a community of 60,000 people, which is really not a lot in a city like New York, which measures something on the order of about 14 million, or don't quote me on that, but it's a whole bunch. Now, we're down here on the boardwalk, and as you can see, there is an enormous amount of activity. This is what you'd expect in the summer months here in New York as people are escaping the city, escaping the heat. This is a Sunday afternoon. And of course, they're coming here because, well, we're on the beach. Let's take a look. Roll around here. You can see thousands and thousands of people out here with their beach umbrellas and in their swimsuits out enjoying the water. People were out here sailing. They're riding jet skis and doing things in the water as well, swimming. But this is, I don't know the name of this bay, and I'm sure it has a bay name, but this extends out into the Atlantic Ocean, so this is the edge of the Atlantic Ocean. So people come here to escape the heat and enjoy themselves on the weekends, of course, especially. And here in August, it's very, very hot. So this is the time of year at peak when they're gonna come here and enjoy this. Now, Bev and I don't notoriously go into these sorts of touristy kinds of places occasionally, but not too often, because it's a little overwhelming with all the people, but there are all kinds of activities. There's uh, some folks down here. It's, it's kind of a, a, some street performers. They're uh, freeform drum players. There's a whole bunch of amusement parks here. There's, well, there's two main parks that we're right next to. And I believe this is Luna Park. Don't, again, don't quote me on that. It says Luna Game, so I'm assuming this is Luna Park. But uh, roller coasters and carousels and all kinds of things. Let me shove in here a little clip from one of the roller coasters. Now you can see that one's kind of subdued. There's a bigger one over here behind me where I'm standing now. Big row, uh, big uh, Ferris wheel, all kinds of amusement park activities. And that's really how this place became so popular was early in the 20th century when they built the original theme parks here and the roller coasters, it became a big attraction beyond just coming down to the water to escape because obviously beginning of the 20th century, predating the days of air conditioning, people in the summer would go to the beach as often as possible to escape the heat. So they capitalized on that with these theme parks. Some entrepreneurs came in here and said, hey, you know what? People are coming here, they want to do something other than just sit on the sand. So we'll go ahead and we'll build some theme parks. And we're going to swing back around. And there are some crazies up here in costume. Some of the characters from the Disney movie Frozen. I'm sure those have got to be specially designed for this particular time of year. 
because those costumes can tend to be very, very hot. Again, this is the sort of thing that's fairly common in New York City in these tourist attractions. If you saw our episode where we were in uh, Times Square, a lot of costume characters there that you could get your picture taken with. People out doing these something to be able to make a buck and getting your picture taken with a costume character seems to be a very popular venue. Anyway, the boardwalk, as you can see, genuinely is a boardwalk. This entire area, which must be about 50 feet, 60 feet wide, has all been paved with wood in a herringbone pattern, largely. Very, very nice. Kind of easy on the feet compared to concrete or pavement. And just, I mean, I can't even begin to guess how many people I'm looking at down in both directions. There's got to be close to 10,000 people down here. Now, I want you to take one quick look. Bev, you pan up and take a look at these light fixtures, the street lights. Now, I don't know if those are the original ones from the beginning of the 20th century, but they certainly look like it. And that's part of the sort of thing you're going to see here in Coney Island is some of the charm that's been maintained from 100 years ago. Now, as I mentioned, uh, if I, I don't know if I posted it yet or not, but Nathan's Hot Dogs was founded here whence the Coney Dog, and this is their 100th anniversary season. Congratulations to Nathan's, by the way. And they have a facility not only up on Surf Avenue, but they have one down here on the boardwalk as well. It's probably about a block and a half or two blocks from their original location, because obviously a lot of traffic coming down here that may not be on Surf Avenue. So this is the Insanity, which is a Sunday afternoon at Coney Island. And that's pretty much all we wanted to bring you here and share with you. So I hope you're having a wonderful summer. I hope you enjoyed this short visit here to Coney Island in Brooklyn, New York. If you've got questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section below. We love hearing from all of you. I try to get back to everyone I can. If you haven't already, hey, pick subscribe. Come along for the adventure. We love having everybody with us. And as always, Thank you for watching.